What's up guys, Gomo here and welcome back to another 6pm content video where today footies is finally here. We have the best promo of the end of the year. Hopefully we are going to get some incredible content. If you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to leave the video a like, rating, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And with that being said, it's a very rushed 6pm content video for me, but we're going to hop straight into things. I have seen no leaks for this. All that I knew is that there was hero cards coming. Apart from that, I know absolutely nothing on this. So... I was hoping that we might have got a loading screen, um, but we haven't, which is fine. But Footies is here. Welcome to Footies Week 1, celebrating everything FIFA 23. Selected players will be receiving stat upgrades and more, including heroes for the first time and premium chemistry footies, which is fantastic. We knew the premium ones were coming anyway, so it's no shock. Um, look out for a batch one of best of re-releases in packs now to earn top players from previous campaigns including ones to watch, Road to the Knockout, Rule Breakers, Winter Wildcard, Centurions, Team of the Year Honourable Mentions, and Team of the Year Icons are in packs again, which is very nice. Um, as well as brand new footies and premium footies will be available in packs for the first time. Ooh. So we've actually got packable footies on top of gameplay and objective footies, which I presume we're going to get. Um, with Season 8 having kicked off, make sure you log in, in daily to get the latest um, XP content, which is absolutely fine. Also, don't miss the Footies Cup launching today to earn some great rewards. We'll go check that out as well. To start off your Footies journey, a 3 times 85 plus single player pack is guaranteed. Oh, 3 85 plus single player packs. So not a triple pack, just a single one. A little bit frustrating, but anyway, who cares? It's more content for us. So, yes, Footies is here. We have oh, Footies Team 1. Do you know what? Ronaldo's there, which is nice narrated. Looks unbelievable. We'll check that out. Alvarez is there. But Joe Gomez has a 96 rated card, which is absolutely up my street. I cannot wait to see that. The question is going to be, what are we actually seeing? So we have, wow, they put Cristiano Ronaldo as premium chemistry. That is impressive. Um, fair play. They've actually done something half decent with this. I think they might have slightly got the screen a little bit messed up um, because... Yeah, I don't really understand how that's going to work. But anyway, we'll see what happens. We know what premium chemistry works as. I think what we'll start off with is objectives. Because I think that's a good place to start. And um, We have Gosens, one of the best cards that we got for free this year as an objective. Fair play to EA for doing this. Um, I think most people had his Champions League card. I had it for a while and then only just recently got rid of it. Um, yeah, really, really nice of EA to do this. And it's another card to work towards. If you did Chan Noglu um, over the last sort of two weeks, absolutely perfect to link to him as well. Sadly, not premium, but German and Inter Milan should be easy to do as well. Um, obviously, we've got the XP. We've got Nation Pride. Um, so, okay, there's a lot to do with just literally a case of claiming a lot of the new women's stuff, um, which is great. The only thing is you get no XP for it. So a little bit frustrating that you can't grind the XP out, but that's absolutely fine. We also have done a lot of stuff in terms of the seasons. Um, I'm a little bit far behind on what I wanted to be, but that's absolutely fine. We can also claim our Lewandowski. Um, he is able to be used for the playing the games and scoring goals with him. Absolutely easy enough to do. So a 94 rated card. Once we've done him, he is fodder for me because I have the team of the season version. So that's absolutely fine. Um, you do not mind that. So in terms of objectives, it's a big tick right now. I've just got 181 plus player pick. We are going to get one of the brand new best of cards, uh, which is Triore, who is absolutely useless and is going to be staying as an 83 rate to play for me. But that's absolutely fine. Um, in terms of what we've got for milestones, I'm going to presume nothing new. Um, I have been absolutely grinding the last 48 hours to get a lot of levels up done. We'll go check that out as well when we check through all the brand new content. Um, but yeah, in terms of that, very good. In terms of SBCs, what are we getting? We obviously had quite a lot over the last few weeks, um, which has been great in terms of content. We have Youngmin Son as a premium chemistry. He isn't cheap. 88, 89, 90, and a 91 rated. However, I think this card could be worth it. 5-star, five 5-star, five left mid, left wing, and a cam card. Looks unbelievable to use. A hawk on him, an engine on him, absolutely phenomenal to use. I think he's going to be great. He's there for 27 days. Super easy to grind out. I think that's a good thing that EA have done. Obviously, you've got League SBCs coming again on Sunday. That's absolutely fine. Don't need to worry about them. We've got player picks on Monday coming out, which is absolutely fine. Don't need to worry about them. We've got the daily challenge, um, which is there for 24 hours, which is absolutely fine. So we will make sure to get that done. In terms of completing it, is it easy to do? You need four rare players, 10 gold cards. 
yeah, it shouldn't be too bad in all honesty to get that done. You're going to get roughly the right amount of cards back from the pack anyway, so that's all good. We've got the Premier League Summer Series, obviously the, I think it's the season friendlies, the preseason stuff that's going on. Um, so if you want to claim all of that, it looks quite good to be honest with you. Definitely worth doing. And then we have the footies best of batch one player pick. Ooh, okay. It is repeatable every single day for as many times as you want. So we'll have to go and check out who's in batch one. It's only an 84 rated team and a team of the week needed. Obviously, every single day you can do a team of the week card. So they're going to go up in value as well. If you've got tradable team of the weeks, sell them on. They're going to go through the roof. Definitely worth looking at possibly doing one of these. I think maybe we do it to finish off today's video because why not? Um, why wouldn't you want to try and get one of the best footies, best of cards? So I think that puts us in a good place in terms of that. The next question is, have we got anything in terms of the store? Then we'll go and check out all the teams because obviously there's going to be some incredible cards released um, in terms of packable cards, which is absolutely fine. In terms of promo packs, we only have four so far, which is good. We have the Summer Essentials pack where you can get 10 rare gold cards, 80 rated higher, where two are guaranteed to be walkouts. There's a lot of cards on offer to pack. Um, there is, as we read out before, all the eventual um, cards that you can pack. The footies player and the premium footy players are very slim in terms of getting them, but that's absolutely fine. You've got a super premium pack, which is guaranteed 85 pluses in all of it. This might be worth doing, in all honesty, with the amount of special cards that are released. Um, I don't think it would be a bad thing to do. So, again, good little bit of content in terms of the store. So... We need to go and check out what EA have actually released. These are all the level cards I've upgraded as well. Um, quickly check it because this is what I've been able to get done. Two more left to do and then leveled up is done for me. So, right, there's a lot of content here. If we go to P for premium footies, we can check out who has been released. Ooh, okay, there's some good cards here. So, Cristiano Ronaldo, 99 rated, one of only two or three cards to be 99 rated. Five star, five star, can play as a left wing, stance forward and striker is just unbelievable. I personally would put an engine on him just to max out the pace and the dribbling, upgrade the passing a little bit, and he shoots since 99, so you don't even need to touch it. Absolutely great. We've got Angel Di Maria in packs as well. He can play as a right mid, right wing, camp and striker. Just moved to Benfica, played against Al Nassar as well, um, and he scored a goal, beating Ronaldo 4-0. Um, yeah, not going too well for the Saudi teams, but five star, five star on him as well. Again, another unbelievable card. An engine on him, a hawk on him. Either way, very, very nice. And the other premium footies card to be released is Gelson Fernandez, one that a lot of people like using over the years. Four star, five star on him, can play as a centre mid or a cam. I think an engine on him is ideal, maxes up the pace, um, and then also the passing and dribbling go up a little bit, which is very nice. Again, as an all round card, as a box to box, he will be fantastic to you. So, three very nice premium cards. Obviously, Son is an SBC, Kent and Vinicius Jr. are from Seasons, which is absolutely fine. So, then we go all the way to the generic footies content where not as many cards in packs, okay, than as what I was expecting, but we have a Julian Alvarez um, who can play as a right wing, left wing, striker, or centre forward. He is five star, five star. He is unbelievable. A hawk on him is probably the best thing to do, in all honesty. Um, Joe Gomez coming in as a centre back. He can play as a right back as well, which is no shock. He plays that IRL. An anchor on him, absolutely perfect for what you need him to be. Three star, five star, which is pretty decent. Obviously, Jota is the um, season rewards. Gosens in the objectives. So we get Benacer, who had a fantastic card um, for the Champions League, I think it was, an SBC that he had. Really, really nice. Um, had a decent team this season as well. But overall, I think an anchor on him, because you don't need to touch his dribbling, maybe. I think a catalyst would be wasted. So maybe an anchor on him just to improve defensively. Him and Gelson Fernandez is a two centre mid role. Absolutely fantastic. So fair play to EA. They've absolutely smashed it out in terms of the footies card. So I think that means there must have been about five or six cards available. Um, the real question is, what cards are actually in packs? Um, by the looks of it, EA are just announcing like the top cards that are in packs. However, there is probably going to be a full on list, I would presume. Normally, they sort of tweet out going, here's all the cards available in Best Of. Um, and ideally, I would like to try and find that list if they have tweeted out somewhere. Um, it's six cards available in packs, which is absolutely fine. That is no shock, in all honesty, that there were six cards released. And um, the brand new loading screen, again, has a few decent cards and a few absolutely atrocious cards. But that is no real shock. I can't find anything on Twitter right now, which is a little bit frustrating. Um, but in terms of Team 1, yeah. I think there's going to be a lot available to pack. If I'm, I'm going to have to search for EA Sports themselves because 
I really want to see who's in packs. Um, they really could have done with tweeting something out about it. They haven't tweeted anything. I know that they're focusing on EAFC 24, but a little bit disappointing that they hadn't actually done anything. Um, yeah, weird one in terms of that. As I say, I can't actually find anything to say what is in packs right now. So we're just going to have to hope for the best and see what reaction. If you get a Team of the Year icon, then you've obviously got something good. Um, so what we're going to do, is we're going to do maybe the three 85 plus packs that we just got and i'd like to finish on a play pick we are going to get a road to the final no road to the knockout this is phil foden that's actually not too bad 89 rated really really nice i'm not going to count it as our footies counter though i think the footies counter is solely going to be for footies cards either claimed built or packed i think that's the best way of doing it and um, but in terms of packing all these other cards it's the start. We've packed Phil Foden. It's a good little start for us. We're then going to go and get a walkout in the next one. We're going to skip through it. It is going to be Thomas Muller, which is absolutely fantastic. You do not mind it. And then, God, there's, there's a lot of content today. I've got to give it to EA. They smash it out the park for this. Fair play to them. We're getting a Europa League card. It's going to be Nigerian, left mid. Ooh, Simon. Again, did pretty well. Got a few upgrades, so an 86 rated card. So, two pretty good cards to get from that a few people have been doing lots of play picks and getting lots of special cards i did want to do lots of play picks i just couldn't get the time to do it and um, because of the amount of gameplay i've been doing but there's a lot of stuff in packs so what we are going to do is we're going to go and build that spc see if we can actually get something good in the best of upgrade Um, as i say if you can get a team of the year icon that would be fantastic in terms of team of the weeks i'm pretty stocked up right now thankfully Um, 82s 83s Probably 81s as well wouldn't work too bad in all honesty. Um, 83 rateds are going to be your friend in this. So yeah, using them and then plenty of fodder. Plenty of people doing packs. There's going to be loads of picks to do as well, um, which is really, really fun for EA to release all of that. I think we might have to use an 85 rated if I had one. We don't though. So because of that, I'm going to have to go and buy an 85 rated, which is absolutely fine. You do not mind it for a little bit of content. Um, we can go and pick up the likes of Gerard Moreno. He will probably be the best one for us. Um, if we go all the way down here, they've probably shot up in price, in all honesty. Um, oh, actually, they haven't. Maybe cards are going to hit a lot cheaper, just because, obviously, everybody's going to be opening packs right now. Obviously, there's footies still to... Not footies, foot champs still to play. Um, so we will make sure to get our hands on doing some of that. They did say there was a footies cup. Um, I don't know if I've missed that, maybe. But who knows? There's too much content. If I've missed something, I do apologise. Please let me know in the comments if I have missed anything. So to finish things off on a very long video, um, but if you guys have stuck around to watch it all, let me know what you think of footies. And here we go, our first one of three footies play pick. We are going to get a Bamiyang, which is absolutely fantastic. You do not mind it. Winter wildcard in terms of Boateng and Veghorst. But I'm not going to bother doing his SPC now because we have a Bamiyang. That is where we're going to leave it for today, guys. I'm out. Peace.